The world is truly in a sad state now. The modern world is getting sicker and sicker day by day, and no one bats an eyelash. The world has convinced itself that masculinity is a bad thing, and we are all better off without it. Amidst the insanity of feminism and increasing degeneracy, it's no surprise that testosterone levels are now the lowest they've ever been. And I'm not just saying that. Research has been done in almost every decade which indicates a swift decline in testosterone levels among Western countries. So are birth levels, and so are the number of men marrying and dating. Masculinity is being slowly removed from society until it becomes a thing of the past. The degeneration started when modern society convinced itself that masculinity was bad. They went out and created terms like patriarchy. It's got so bad that feminists today blame most of the world's problems on men. When public media and thinkers in general are thinking these things, it has effects on the younger generation. The new generation of men can barely be called men. Testosterone dropped due to a lot of reasons, and I want to discuss them here with you. It's mainly because our society has made some significant changes in our lifestyle that goes against our natures. More specifically the heart of men. The modern schooling and job system is completely against how men are supposed to live their lives. It's no wonder then that new generations have lower testosterone levels and barely exhibit any masculine traits. In fact, young men are going towards dressing feminine and taking up feminine traits. They see no harm in doing that. Let's look at how young men lived their lives back then. Right after they entered their late teens or early twenties, boys became men. It was ritualistic. They started taking up responsibility around the house and the farm. In a way, the boy was responsible for the house and his opinion mattered now. He was responsible for providing the food and managing relations with the neighbors. People depended on him. It was clear that if he faltered in his responsibilities, people would pay the price for it. Today, young guys are as far away from responsibility as possible. When they enter their late teens, they're still naive students who know nothing about the world. They've just graduated from high school where they've done nothing but waste their lives going to parties and getting drunk. If they were not cool enough for that, they wasted their time getting fat and building bad habits. Young guys today enter a world where they have no nothing to do. No responsibilities and nothing much to care about. They have an entire host of entertainment sources around them that require zero effort. Young guys today are wasting their lives on porn gaming. You can pick any average guy and he's bound to be wasting his life playing games all day. Like that's their routine. It's considered normal to waste hours upon hours gaming and earning fake credits and achievements. This is not a healthy habit. Young boys are not just gaming. They're looking for purpose, things to do where they will be rewarded for it. They don't find it in real life so they resort to gaming. Kinds are like that. We need something to work towards. The average boy today is insulted all day long by his teachers and humiliated by girls around them. The system doesn't understand that guys cannot sit around learning and doing nothing. We are supposed to be playing around and engaging in physical activities. Since boys don't have that, they replaced it with gaming. Think about it. It has all the elements of a real life adventure that men want. It has the option of playing with friends and pursuing a unique objective. It has rewards for achieving specific goals. If you achieve those goals, you are rewarded for it and enjoy a higher status and privilege in the game world. This is very different from the past war or journeys that men used to do. Another huge reason for dropping T levels is the lack of physical activity. Every young boy, after a certain age, had to go out in the sun and engage in physical activity. Whether it was helping out on the farm or carrying the house things around tending to the animals or learning to fight. It didn't matter if you were an ability or a peasant. You had to use your hands and you had to get dirty. How many young guys today are getting the same level of activity as in the past? Let's not even start with schools. Not only do schools not promote physical activity, but they also prevent it. Guys get barely one period to play around. Even there, the coaches are looking for talented players who can make it in the teams. The rest of the guys are left stumbling around. There's collectively a culture for shaming healthy and sporty students. Boys are thrown a million tests and quizzes, so they'd rather waste their time on these than work on their bodies. 
Even the college education system considers academics and non-physical ECs for admitting students. As a whole, your physical health does not matter to the system. This is so ironic, considering that everyone from the Greeks to Teddy Roosevelt focused on physical health. They called it the key to a sharp mental brain. Not only is physical health good for you mentally, but sports and competition are also integral to a man's life. Research has shown that men who compete and come out on the top have greater testosterone levels than others. It's a clear sign that testosterone is not only dependent on physical attributes, but also on mental aspects. Furthermore, sports teach guys manly skills like working together, being patient and disciplined. These are integral skills that men possessed in the past but are so rarely seen now. Guys are like children today. They're out there passing woke opinions on the internet and dancing on Twitter. In fact, they've even started to shame guys who go to the gym and possess traditional values. If a man refuses to waste his life on parties and wants to have a nice happy marriage, he is called a misogynist and an old fart. Couple that with the fact that the modern world is soft and infected. The foods we eat are unhealthy for us. The incessant sex and degeneracy that is thrown at us from all media sources hurt our brain. Modern world forces us to waste our time on pointless tasks and tests that barely matter in real life. Then when it's all done, we are thrown into a system like cogs to work away for the corporate slaves. It's a dark, purposeless life that is hurting men. Male suicide is rising because guys are lost. They don't know why they are hated for what they are. They want to know why the girls hate them when it's not their fault. They don't understand why they were born. They are expected to take it all and earn for their families and people without asking questions. They are expected to just keep their head down and shut up. The worst is there aren't even any male mentors left. Male mentors are pushed off of social media. They're hated for what they talk about. If it keeps going this way, men would have no one to guide them. But you know what? It's only bad for society as a whole. Many times science has shown that society cannot continue without men. In fact, there was a show by the name of The Survivor. They threw a couple of men and women on separate islands with minimal resources and they had to survive. In a few days, the men had a working society. They had pitched up a bar and shade for all of them and some soft beds. Meanwhile, the women were bickering with each other and stealing all the resources. Masculinity is what has made society so comfortable to live in that women can openly insult men. They can afford to insult the very people that gave them the security they enjoy in life. Unfortunately, the collapse is coming. Society cannot continue without strong responsible men. It will continue to decline until it reaches a mega economic collapse that brings things to normal, or it will be reduced to a shell of what it really was. Either way, the fall of masculinity is bad news for society as a whole. It would be better if the feminists and modern media admitted that before things got bad. But that just seems like a pipe dream to me at this point. That's it for today. I'll see you all in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.